With an eight figure net worth, Ryan Seacrest is currently the highest paid TV host out there and he may soon pocket an extra $44 million selling one of his properties. Since he doesn't spend much time in LA these days, mostly living in New York where he co-hosts live with Kelly and Ryan, he just put his mega mansion on the west coast up for sale at a whopping $85 million. We'll take a look at this property which has quite the Hollywood history and two more places Mr. Seacrest has called home. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Ryan Seacrest is a radio personality, famous TV host and producer, best known for all his years hosting the singing competition show American Idol. Radio wise, he's also known for the syndicated countdown program American Top 40 and iHeartMedia's Kiss FM morning show on air with Ryan Seacrest. In 2006, Ryan also became co-host and executive producer of Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve and remained co-host and producer following Clark's passing in 2012. Even more recently, Ryan started co-hosting Live with Kelly and Ryan alongside Kelly Ripa on a permanent basis since May of 2017, which he's still doing to this day. At the time of this recording, Ryan has an estimated net worth of about $430 million, which has afforded him some of the nicest homes you could imagine, including a $75,000 per month rent bill in the Big Apple. But I'll get to that shortly. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're noticing a lot of copycat channels popping up, but we're the originals, and 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we'll be taking a look at where famous talk show host Ryan Seacrest calls home, like the mega mansion in LA he's selling, his New York City spot, and more. We've also done house tours on the likes of Jay Leno and Jimmy Kimmel, which we'll link to at the end. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Back in 2010, it was reported that Mr. Seacrest was letting go of a home he had lived in since 2006, located in the Hollywood Hills near the top of Nichols Canyon. He bought the 10,000 plus square foot mansion from Kevin Costner for about $11.5 million and intended to sell it for $14.9 million but he didn't end up getting that much. The former Seacrest estate sat on almost an acre behind a gated celeb style driveway and was dubbed Casa de Pace by Ryan, meaning House of Peace. His not so humble Mediterranean abode was also featured in Architectural Digest back in December 2007, where he showed off some of the interior design. Originally built in 1974, the mansion offered six beds and 6.5 baths and acted as the up and coming host's way to flex his Hollywood muscle when he first made it big. Apparently, he wanted to give the home a feeling of timelessness and peace, a decor scheme using rich masculine colors throughout. The common rooms were spaciously sized and many open to terraces with canyon and city views. The entrance hall was a double height rotunda ceiling and nearby there was a living room with 17 foot vaulted ceilings and stone fireplace. More private spaces in the home included a den, library, family room with another fireplace, screening room, and state-of-the-art gym, which at the time was one of Ryan's favorite features. When designing the mansion, Ryan made it resemble a hotel in many ways, even adding resort touches like mattresses from luxury hotels and bathrobes with the estate's logo, Casa de Pace. It seems he went all out. What used to be the guest house was turned into a funky club room inspired by a famous hotel in Paris, while Ryan converted the rec room downstairs into a 4,500 500 bottle wine cellar and tasting room. The grounds of the property had a long lap pool and a lighted championship tennis court. While the home was impressive by any standards, it ended up selling for only $11 million, which was about 500K less than Ryan originally paid. But for the hardest working man in Hollywood, times really changed since he first bought this here home. He rose in showbiz and started putting in way more money into the bank, meaning his Hollywood gold could be put towards an even better dream home. Let's take a look at the upgrade. In 2012, it was reported that Mr. Mr. Seacrest was investing in a new mansion, this one with a celeb pedigree, and he actually bought it off of Ellen DeGeneres. She bought it off of Will & Grace creator Max Muchnik, and since he lived there, he never got to finish the home the way he wanted. Then he helped Ryan redo the place, acting as his designer. While Ryan paid about $39 million for the estate in recent news, he decided he wants to sell, and this time, he's asking a whopping $85 million. While Ryan reportedly
reportedly spent another 2 mil on adjacent property to add on, he'd still be pocketing over 40 million if the asking price sticks. Ryan has decided since he's in New York City basically all the time for work, he doesn't spend enough time at his West Coast estate to keep it. The property is spectacular and located in a super private and prime section in its own street in Beverly Hills behind Gates of course and on over 3 acres of land. It's one of the great resort like compounds in the area with 5 structures set among gardens and water features, also perfect for indoor outdoor living. The modern compound features a main house covering 9,200 square feet and 2 guest houses or studios, adding up to a total of 15,000 square feet. There's even another full detached 3 bedroom guest house on the property. There were 9 beds and 11 baths throughout and Ryan's home had every amenity you could think of as well as state of the art security. The gourmet kitchen opens to outside in an outdoor pizza oven, perfect for enjoying the LA weather, while the living room offered 22 foot high beam ceilings and a fireplace. And that's just the beginning. Ryan's estate had a home movie theater, a spa, a world class gym, games room and even a bar lounge space. His master suite boasted its own meditation garden for him to relax, and the serenity continues outside where there are gorgeous ponds and gardens. The grounds overlook amazing city views and the Los Angeles basin, and of course there was a swimming pool out back. While there was even a fire here a few years ago that caused significant damage to the home, it has since been fully repaired. Since Ryan has been hosting Live with Kelly and Ryan for a few years now, it makes sense he has to spend most of his time in New York City where the show is filmed. While some sources claim the star host purchased a Manhattan property, it seems he's still living in the same rental he's been at for a while. But it's not just any rental. This spot cost Mr. Seacrest a whopping $75,000 per month. Can you imagine? His gorgeous Upper East Side townhouse was reimagined by Michael Chen Architects who had the mission of building a brand new structure inside a 19th century mansion. The house was built in 1879 but finished the major renovation just before Ryan decided to call the place home. It's located in Lenox Hill, just a block from Central Park and close to his place of work. Some of the townhouse's standout features include Ryan's master suite which spans the entire third floor, six wood burning fireplaces, a rooftop terrace with garden and seating, and an elevator that services all six of his floors. There's about 11,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor space as well as six beds and six baths. It's an eco-conscious townhouse which used locally sourced materials and work by local artisans to craft the beautiful home. There are also 15 zones of energy efficient climate control and the gardens are tended to by automatic irrigation system. Ryan's townhouse mansion is entered at street level with a foyer boasting a custom sculpted ceiling and black limestone heated floors. This floor also has a south facing kitchen decked out in white oak, marble and top grade appliances. The parlor floor has a combined formal living room and dining room along with a large pantry and offers nearly 1500 square feet of entertaining space with 12 and a half foot ceilings. His third floor master suite has a luxe bathroom spanning the width of the home, a dressing room with morning kitchen and a private terrace. Up on the 4th and 5th floors you'll find the guest rooms as well as a casual living room with full wet bar and custom skylight. A glass penthouse structure opens to the roof garden which also offers a full outdoor kitchen and grill. Alright I think we'll bring this house tour to an end right there. Considering Ryan Seacrest is selling his mega mansion in Beverly Hills for 85 mil, it felt like a good time to take a look at his properties. He's come a long way from being the unknown host of American Idol to where he is today and along the way he's lived in some amazing properties. After seeing his first LA mansion, the huge Beverly Hills compound he's moving out of and his New York townhouse which was your fate. Be sure to rate his houses down in the comments. I'm gonna say I love the 85 million dollar home he's selling but I would rate all of his homes like a 9. The man has good taste. I'd also love it if you guys like and subscribe to my personal channel if you haven't. I post every Sunday and love getting to know you guys better over there. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you guys want to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!